the ghost in the machine. Look at that fine figure of a man just standing there. And this here is a star plate. It's a disc. It's got lots of holes in it. And it's got grooves like that. And uh, you can use them for building greenhouses, sheds, aviaries. Uh, it's quite an interesting concept. And over the winter, I cut up wood. And I thought, well, I didn't think, my wife told me. Clean that wood out of that shed, I don't want it littering up the place, so now I have to go and build up this star plate construction. And uh, that's the beginnings of it there. It's like the Pentagon over in America. So let's proceed with it and uh, see how long it takes to put up. So these are the carriage bolts that go, get knocked through the wood to hold the structure in place. I think there's about 56 of them to hold the whole structure together. You can see I've knocked them in here into the corners where the star plates go. But uh, this bottom bit uh, is uh, pressure treated wood. And uh, with the other upright supports, it's just normal wood. And I planed them down so that they would fit into the groove in the star plates. But they wouldn't allow me to plane down this pressure treated wood at the woodworking school. Because it would go into the waste. So what I had to do is put a little chamfer in here. So that uh, it would fit into the block. I think that would be an easier and better way of doing it. Just putting a little chamfer in there. So that it fits into the plate snugly. Well, that's the base done. Feels pretty solid. Now we need to put in the struts, uh, which come up from those two ones there. So I'll have to go and get that wood and then begin putting them on. So, that's the base, it's quite big, I don't know how high it's going to be, but I think you'll be able to stand up and say So that's it laid out with the ten wall sections ready to go into place. And I suppose I should put a, a star plate up at the end of one of them to make it easier to construct. But, uh, and then there's another five which will be for the, for the roof with one star plate at the top. And once I've built it, I think, whoops, once I've built it, I think if I was, it might be too heavy to lift. At least for one man. Perhaps four men might lift it. But certainly not one. I have to wait for my kids to come up. What I decided to do is uh, put it in the star plate at the apex. And uh, when you buy these star plates, they give you templates so that uh, you can cut the wood so that everything will be fit nicely into shape and when I look around here you can see just how nicely that is fitting together so it's a well designed project so that's one side up I only have to do four more sides and then the roof on. 
So you need a washer and a bolt. Put it on there. Screw it down. Bit. It's really fitting to do. 
But it looks like I'm missing five pieces of wood which I'll have to cut before I can get it finished. So that's it up. A do it yourself one man job. I like the shape of it. Looks like it's made out a little wise. But it's missing five struts at about shoulder level to make it really solid. So just about here. Going from there across to this one. Here. That'll be really solid. But it's an interesting structure. And we're very well designed. That uh, you just need to make sure that the the wood is cut to all the right proportions. And it just fits together like a Lego, I suppose. So, oh, there it is. Now I have to dismantle it and then take it and put it somewhere where I want it. I want to replace this old greenhouse with it. Well, I've been thinking it would make a lovely man cave, wouldn't it? Just in the winter, with a little stove in there, solid wood walls. That would just be lovely. Now I'll just have to think about it, what I'm going to do. But that's it. The star plate do-it-yourself project. The geometry of that is so pleasing. And the fact that those star plates have been engineered and designed so that if you cut the wood to the right length, it just all fits together. It's beautifully. It's an incredible piece of engineering. But, uh, and it looks, it looks great from all angles. It's a wonderful looking structure. It delights my heart just to look at that. So here are the types of things you can use the star plate system. A carport, a wood shed, machinery shed, a storage building, a greenhouse, that was my design. That's what I thought. A gazebo, a vertical sided building, a screen house, a corn crib, a nice fishing hut. It comes from Stromberg's across in the States. Stromberg's chickens dot com so the star plate building system how easy to build with star plates yes I heartily endorse that it's engineered anyone can do it if I can do it anyone can do it <laughs>